Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today it is still Tuesday, the 14th of September 2021. And like I said, it ended up not being too bad of a day. The wind has died down uh, from the earlier video I did. The trees are not blowing like they were. And we've had a decent amount of sunshine today. Uh, the sun is still sitting up over here. So, not a bad day. Still getting sun on the panels, which is a good thing. Uh, the batteries are in fantastic shape, which is always helpful. And there's the puppies. There's little Miss Hella sitting there looking. <laughs> she is like such an awesome dog. She is so funny. And there's my sidekick, Max. You good boy, Max? Yes. Yes, you are. See, he even answered. And there's the other one. There she is. Yes, Miss Molly. She says, oh, Dad, you're out? You're making a video? All right, I'll come out. So anyway, let's get into the topic of this video. Talk about cryptocurrency. And here's what I find interesting about the whole cryptocurrency thing. I've never got into it, uh, be 100% honest. I know that it's done very, very well. Uh, a lot of people have invested a lot of money into cryptocurrency. We're going to talk about some issues that I have with cryptocurrency and why I would never invest in cryptocurrency, never will invest in cryptocurrency, and also the dangers that are out there with the cryptocurrency. What do you do? Leave the, leave the kitties be. She's like, I just want to play, Dad. So, if you guys saw, um, Sunday, cryptocurrency started going down. The price of cryptocurrency started going down. All right, so then Monday, uh, people were trying to sell, but they were unable to sell because the website where you sell your cryptocurrency was down. Isn't that convenient how that works as well, right? So cryptocurrency loses uh, a substantial amount of its value, but the people that want to get out of it and sell can't because the website is down. Uh, that's a huge huge red flag uh, again I would that would be something that I would definitely never invest my money in because number one it's backed by nothing all right poof and it's gone that's it uh, what did it lose 400 billion dollars worth of value in one day or over two days I'm sorry Sunday and Monday lost 400 billion dollars I want you to think about that 400 billion dollars worth of value now if you're invested in cryptocurrency you probably already know these things that uh, you've lost some of your value of what you had in there. I will never invest in something that is not tangible, something that uh, I can't put my hands on. Uh, you know, the stock market is up and down. Over the long haul, the stock market goes up. But those type of things like cryptocurrency, there's been other things like that in the past, which is the latest and the greatest thing, and you're going to get rich quick scheme, and a lot of people will invest a lot of money in there, unless you are actively pulling money out. But see, the thing is what people don't understand, and I think, well, some maybe do, some, but a lot of them don't. Two things always drive the market, right, the stock market, or anything, any fundamental within the stock market. Fear and greed. Fear and greed are huge motivating factors in these type of situations. So when something is doing very, very well and showing a big profit and it continues to go up, 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 and up, you don't start pulling your money out, you put more in. That's how that works, generally. Now, I'm sure that there are people that have invested in the cryptocurrency that maybe pulled out their initial investment after time and let the rest run to see what it's going to do. Um, th that's a possibility, but the reality is most people are going to go ahead and invest more when they see something doing well. So that is, I think, what you're seeing happening. And now, all of a sudden, now we're starting to take that nosedive. And so um, that is obviously a major, major issue uh, for people. Again, I would rather have my money put into something that I can touch, that I can see, that I know has value, um, that I can use that's going to benefit me or the people that I care about. That's where I'm going to put my money. Uh, you know, I'm not going to put it into something that tomorrow may just stop existing and it's gone and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you know, same, that's the same way with stocks. And I know a lot of people have gotten rich off of stocks, but I want you to remember something. 
when these type of events are going to happen, if there's going to be an issue, and this is, goes along with the stock market, okay? Like, there are people that know something is coming up with ABC stock. ABC stock is going to have a problem. And so they let their rich friends know, hey, you know, it might be a time to pull some of that stock out of there because uh, something's going down. And that's what they'll do. So they're getting out at the top, and then Joe Q. Public, the sucker, is going to get taken for a fall, and he's going to lose all his investment. It happens over and over and over again. Uh, the rich aren't rich for a reason, folks. <laughs> you know, uh, they have a lot of inside information and all those type of things. So those are things. I mean, it's been proven over and over and over again. So I'm not saying anything. You look at all the senators that have been brought up because they sold a sock right at the right exact time. And, you know, and when they were asked, they were like, oh, no, I just, you know, I just made a decision to sell at that particular time. It just happened to be right at the right time because, you know, then that stock went down the toilet. So those are, those are not accidents. Those are because they know something is going on. Um, you know, again, I would rather, the one thing, uh, realistically, think about land. Land is going to hold its value. Generally in time, land is going to probably go up in value, generally. So, you know, those are things that's a tangible asset. It's something that you have, that you own, um, you know, that's going to retain its value. And then down the road, if you decide you want to get rid of, you know, one or more properties, then you do. And then you have the money from that. And then you put them, obviously, into other properties, hopefully. So, you know, those are things, I don't know, it's just, to me, I, that's, I'd rather go that route. Because, again, that's a tangible asset, um, you know, and you're not trying to figure out, you know, well, what is this stock now worth? And is it is it worth anything? Or is it worth crap now? And all that type of stuff, um, you know. And I've done, you know what, and I've been in the stock market, and I've played the stock market in the past. And I've done okay. Um, absolutely, I've done okay. Uh, I picked certain stocks on purpose, and, uh, you know, they did well. And I went over different uh, sectors when I did stocks. I have very, very little in the stock market anymore uh, just because I don't have a lot of trust. <laughs> so, um, and I, like I said, I, I have other places that I would rather be putting my money anyway as opposed to uh, putting it in there. So... That's kind of where I'm at with it. I want to hear your guys' feedback. Did you know what was going on with the cryptocurrency? Uh, did you know that it had really taken a dive down? And it's still doing well. Don't get me wrong. The money, the, the, it's uh, whatever levels. It went through two levels. And then it's kind of stabilized out for the moment. But who knows what it's going to do long term. And again, it's not backed by anything. It's not backed by anything. And like I said, and, and when you go to the, the website to try to sell it and the website is down, uh, to me, that should be a monstrous huge red flag. Huge, huge red flag. So uh, something to definitely continue to pay attention to, uh, especially if you've invested in it. I do know people that have invested in cryptocurrency. Um, like I said, me personally, not going to happen. Nope. No way. No how. And like I said, I know some people have made a lot of money on it. And that's great. Good for you. You take a chance, you see what happens. But when you gamble like that, it's gambling, like anything else, you take the chance of losing all your money. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think that that's the way that I want to do things. <laughs> that's just me personally. So, uh, But anyway, I definitely do want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic. I want to hear what you think of the cryptocurrency. Um, did you see what happened with the cryptocurrency over the last couple of days? And, uh, you know, the issues with the website and stuff like that. So I definitely would like to hear your feedback on that. So really quickly, I want, do want to talk about my website, PrepperNurse1.com. Right now on my website, I am doing a sale with the Le uh, Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods. Um, as I have mentioned in previous videos, October 1st, the price increases will go into effect for the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods. So I decided to do a sale now to save you extra money and while the prices are still lower. So uh, if you are interested, you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com. You will click on Store. You will see Legacy Foods. You click on that. It will take you to the store within the website. If you decide to make a purchase, 20% uh, will come off automatically when you check out. So there's nothing you have to, no code you got to put in or anything like that. But there is the 20% will come off automatically. Again, the prices will be increasing as of October 1st. So if you have been thinking about it and thinking maybe I might want to do this, 
definitely now is the time to jump on this because, again, prices are going to go up. And I have the sale going on right now to save you a little bit more money. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that. Uh, what else? 25-year uh, shelf life. GMO free. It is made in the United States. The, it is vegan. Uh, there are beef and chicken options available that you can purchase separately. Also, uh, it is uh, gluten options available for people that need the gluten options. So um, definitely take advantage of that. And uh, there we are. All right. So also with my website, we have the uh, J. Dega. Or not, oh, man, why do I keep saying that one? That was the first one. The Forefathers. You will see the Forefathers logo. If you click on the Forefathers logo, uh, it will take you to their website. Once you're on their website, if you decide to make a purchase over there on their website, when you check out over there, that's where you got to make sure you use your discount code Prepper Nurse One, and you'll save yourself 15% on your purchase. Uh, you know, it's a good thing to have in your long-term storage as well. Uh, it helps with a myriad of things. CBD products are really, really good. So um, I use them myself, and that's why I got involved with the company. So just so you know. Um, so if you're interested, definitely check that out as well. Last thing on my website, we have the Prepper Nurse One community, which is free to join. It's set up for you guys to connect with like-minded people. You do have to register, but no credit card information is asked. I want to see how long it takes her before she realizes I stopped walking. Yep, there she goes. Hey, wait, you stopped walking. <laughs> um, so, but uh, it's a resource that we set up for you guys to connect with like-minded people. Um, again, if you want to just go in and read the message boards, that's fine. Uh, if you are looking to connect with like-minded people in your state or in your country, uh, check that out as well. All right. So that is there for you guys to take advantage of that. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else at the moment to share with you guys. But uh, obviously tomorrow, uh, after the live stream tomorrow night, at some point, I will be heading down to West Virginia. And uh, so I am excited about that adventure, and that should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be busy. <laughs> it's going to be very, very busy. So we'll see how it all goes. But anyway, um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys have had uh, a good week so far and uh, that you're all staying safe. Remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And as soon as we can figure that out and focus on that, we're going to be in much, much better shape as a society um, and as a people. We need to stop letting them manipulate us through race, religion, th political affiliation, and also the vaxxed and the unvaxxed. It is a game that's being played to divide us, because as long as we are divided and fighting amongst each other over little scraps at the table... They, meaning big business and the government, can continue to walk all over us and rape us for every dollar that they possibly can. Uh, if we stand up together and say, no more, then it will stop. All right, But until we get to that point, it's going to continue to happen. Also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD step thing and day it's one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time whatever you are trying to accomplish whatever you are trying to do it doesn't necessarily have to be about prepping or living off grid it's whatever your focus is don't listen to negative people set your goals and then set about to making them happen that's all you got to do if you do that you're going to be just fine um, you know and that's how things get done but when you listen to negativity and negative people that want to bring you down, uh, nothing gets accomplished. So stay focused, work on your things, and you're going to be just fine. I hope everybody's doing great. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week so far. And even though it's only Tuesday, you know, we just keep doing what we got to do. Continue to prep, continue to get ready. I think that's really, really important. All right? I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.